for this resin update, I am going to show you guys my Chubble creations and I'm just going to go right into it. If you have any questions, leave it in the down box below and I will try to get to them. So with the help of some of you guys on Instagram and it's funny because at the same time that I was getting suggestions on Instagram, I also thought of the name Chubble and the way that I thought of it was they're chubby bubble or orb like animals and someone else um, I'm gonna put the name on the screen also suggested Chubble and Lily liked it as well so I decided that it would be the official name for these cute little characters now I'm still looking for individual names for each of these but I just wanted to show you guys very quickly some of these pieces these four I'm calling the great bees because they were kind of like my test runs. Uh, the funny thing is though, the, the two over here, which I'm calling my grade A because they actually came out successfully. Um, this was my first batch and then this was my second and I noticed different things happening to my resin. So I can talk about that a little later, but I wanted to show you the details of each of these. For the grade B's, all of them actually sold, so thank you so much for everyone who purchased. And the reason why they're great B is because I haven't really perfected using a sphere mold. This is kind of like the first time I'm using a spherical mold. And so there are some little bubbles everywhere. Um, but overall, there's not that many bubbles. It's just usually towards like where the details are, so like the mouth area and the ears. But um, I'm working on it. And then I have this blue seal, and again, the issue was just tiny little bubbles like the one near the eye, so I wouldn't sell this for full price. I would sell this as grade B or, you know, not as good. And then I have another seal, which I actually like the transparent one more. So these are what they look like. And I really like how the glitter suspended all throughout rather than kind of staying stuck at the top. So if you can see this one, a lot of the glitter uh, kind of ended up towards the top, but there's still some suspension in the middle. But this one I feel like it's more spread out throughout. And then last but not least for the grade B uh, is this bear. And each of these, as you can see, I added my own little touch to it, which are hearts near the ear. And this one is actually not too bad, but I just didn't know why I had a white bear. <laughs> I, I feel like I could do this better. so. That's why these were in grade B and they all sold. So thank you to everyone who purchased these. Now for the grade A, um, I have these. So these are my little porgies. I actually have a name for these and my friend wanted to name one of them Chip for some reason. But these are grade A because I don't see any outside bubbles. And when working with sphere molds, I find that it's very easy to get those little micro micro marbles no I'm sorry uh, micro bubbles inside the resin which are very very difficult to pop but I think it doesn't show very much in sphere molds uh, at least for me especially when you add glitter so I think it's okay and I really like how it turned out you can see it's really really iridescent and pretty and then this one is a white one still has glitter though so really like how that turned out and the reason why there's blue patches here is because I added blue cellophane to this one and um, to this one right here you'll see some of the blue so this is a very unique little piggy and I really like how it, the glitter shows up in the white so yeah I like both of these a lot and these two are actually still on my Etsy now the last things I'm going to show you are just plain pieces that I didn't even end up painting because of the excessive bubbles so with this piece I really like the color I liked how the glitter showed up but there's like a giant bubble near the schnauzer and there's bubbles on the hands and it's just not even grade B worthy in my opinion so this is like a maybe a little paperweight now and then this one um, I'll explain a little bit so I found that the less resin I mix together the more time I had to pour them into the molds maybe it's because it's hot these days since it is summer but I found that if I left the resin out in the corner of my desk for maybe more than 10 minutes it would start getting really really hot and tacky so this I actually popped out within five hours of initial pour and uh, yeah, so that's kind of crazy because 24 hour resin shouldn't cure in five hours. I mean, it's cool, but you know, still lots of bubbles on the ears. And I hollowed it out because 
uh, well it wasn't intentional like the inside of it was really hard and I was like okay this, this didn't work so I would scoop it out with my toothpick and this was left over in the mold and I it was all gooey and stuff so I just left it in to cure and here it is it's actually pretty cool I might do something with this even though there's like little bubbles in it but it's really awesome I think So this is my mini update and I'm obviously going to be experiment experimenting with this a little more and I will have more of these for sale on my Etsy and if you guys are interested in gray bees where they're a lot cheaper than if I sold them at full price, um, let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!